Good day, you big, bloody, beautiful bastards. Working on that for a future video. I think it needs probably a lot more work. Really quick, shout out to Joe X if you like knives and breakage and crazy, uh, I think I can say Austrians, right? Uh, check out his YouTube channel. I'm here today to talk about my rifle slings. I've got some in stock. I want to talk a bit about the pricing. Beach and Tactical, I designed these slings to be able to transition very quickly from uh, obviously being worn on the back to being worn on the front and back again as needed. So uh, I make all these slings, I've got all these different colors. You can order them custom. That is more expensive. But uh, uh, I was accused in a recent video uh, of uh, having ulterior motives for selling black slings. So here's the deal. Uh, going forward, the slings that I will probably keep in stock the most because I want to make money is slings that are all black, all mil spec, made in the USA components, uh, ITW Nexus buckles, American made paracord, mil 55301 webbing, even mil spec, doggone, very compliant thread. But um, I have been telling my audience for a decade at this point that, that black is not tactical. So this person was like, oh, well, uh, you're not being honest. If you really believed in what you're saying, you wouldn't sell an all black sling. Uh, not all of you people who may want to buy a good sling for your rifle are buying the sling to uh, be tactical. These slings do work very well on hunting rifles. And there is a number of people out there where no matter what I say, I can make videos and points. I can get ranger snipers into my channel all day to talk about solid lines, dark spots, black and camouflage. And I will still have customers who come to me and say, I don't care. I want a black sling. I like my black gun. Fine. Listen, I've got to make money. I support my family and my household. This is my job. And if everybody wants a doggone black sling, buy Jorge, I'll make a black sling. If you buy a black sling and you decide, man, actually, through some of my own testing, I realize other things work better. Spray paint it like everything else. You'll be all right. Black slings will be the cheapest because they sell the most. I, I'll put a disclaimer in the link. They will still sell the most. Uh, and the materials are slightly cheaper. That is actually basically irrelevant when it comes to solid color slings, but it is still a thing. Basically, they sell the most. I can make the most of them. They'll sell the fastest, so I can sell them at the cheapest price. I have a few, about four of these black slings. If you're watching this around August, maybe they'll still be in stock when you see this, most likely. I have a, a, about four of these all black speed slings in stock on the website right now, beachandtactical.com. Uh, and these will be one of two of our cheapest options. The other cheapest option uh, I call a moonshine sling. Oh, uh, he, he stole that from Cloud Defensive. Uh, Cloud Defensive is, is going to sue him for copy. And I, I don't think so. I did get it from Cloud Defensive. Uh, for the most part, I do like Cloud Defensive until they prove to me that I shouldn't. But I love my owl lights and my rain is fine. So, uh... Yeah, they, they, I got the idea from them. So basically, the other thing that will be affordable in the ready-to-ship section on the website is moonshine slings. These are slings made of scraps. Today I used up all the rest of my black webbing, so I made a sling that has camo paracord and black webbing and a green buckle on one side and a A10 uh, buckle uh, relv camo tunnel rat and black paracord on the other side moonshine those will be cheaper when they're in stock when it happens they'll be cheaper so and some people like those uh, some people go kind of wild for those because they are cheaper and they're pretty unique and some people think it's cool cool 
so uh, since I'm only five minutes in, I'm going to talk just real quick. If you're not familiar with the speed sling, guys, I already demonstrated. You come up, uh, you come back. There is a best way to do it. There is a best way to mount it. It does take some practice, but it is relatively intuitive once you get used to it. Uh, the paracord on these slings makes padding. So it makes it comfortable. It is comfortable to wear front or back. Now, this is not a sling that is ideally suited to front only always carry. Uh, because if you were to want to adjust it constantly while it's on the front of your body, you have to do what I just did. Um, and that's not the best. However, with permanent adjustment front and back, I like to tell people to adjust their slings to be where they want it automatically when all of the slack is let out. Uh, the other thing about the sling is if you have it mounted the way that it is intended, I like to have it mounted at the front of, what is this, a 14 inch handguard, and at the rear of your buttstock, you should be able to tighten it and have it stay uh, tight against the rifle. Um, and then if you do get to a point in your life, well, I, when I designed this sling, I was in Afghanistan on a patrol. It was like 16,000 degrees. I was wearing, I won't mention the brand of the sling, but uh, being airborne, every bit of extra webbing had to be S-rolled and taped, and we had almost no adjustment that we were even allowed. And uh, let's see, I was walking, I wanted to take my sling off. I couldn't get the sling off. It was caught on some of my gear somehow, and I got so mad there's few things that make me feel like more violent tendencies than inanimate objects that aren't working. Usually my phone or computer, but in this case, the sling. And it started with me thinking, I want a center mounted quick disconnect. So whether it's on your front or your back, if you're getting pissed off, you just pop your sling in half, take it off, fix it, put it back on, whatever the case may be. Um, let's see. I think that's about it, guys. Uh, traditional firearms, you're going to mount it on the bottom of the firearm and primarily wear it over one shoulder like a traditional sling, but it's still, it works very, very well. It adjusts very well for that purpose. And uh, craparilla, I don't know what else I was gonna say in this video, but uh, black slings are in stock. I've got Alpenflage sling, slings in stock. I've got Jackward, Cryptic, Mandrake, slings in stock uh, once all of these blacks sell out it will be a little while before i get more uh, i will put blacks as being unavailable for custom orders going forward here if i remember uh, it might take a little while for tech cell industries to get me the rest of my black webbing i think i have another roll somewhere that might have been lost so i've got to wait on some more to ship so, I think that's what we've got, guys. Beachandtactical.com. And if you want a knife uh, that is made in the USA with a no questions asked lifetime guarantee on standard options that is highly practical, versatile, easy to carry, and enjoyable to use for a wide range of tasks, my brand, Exodus Knife and Tool at ExodusKnifeandTool.com. Those links will be in the description box below as long as my affiliate links and while i am talking about this the one specific affiliate link that i have is kentuckiana gunworks you can use coupon code tpbo for a discount i like the guy i like the product it's all that i use so i do represent it my other affiliate links are like palmetto state armory and primary arms i like them and i give generic affiliate links to the whole website because I'm not going to share all of the products that they want me to list for sale because I haven't tested them. I haven't verified them. However, what I do know is that if you like guns, you probably already order with them because that's what I did. So if you would like to help my channel, the next time you place an order, you can use my affiliate link, which again is in the description box below, no matter what you're buying, and I'll get a kickback and it doesn't cost you anything extra. I really don't do justice for affiliate links. I think I'm gonna change that going forward. I think I'm going to 
when I review specific gear and I truly love it, I think that I will give people a link to that gear from my review for that website uh, because I truly believe in it. Uh, but I can just never, I can never just share all the links that they send to me uh, because it just doesn't feel right. And it's just not how I operate and it's not the kind of relationship that I want to have with them. <sighs> wow, as well as ended up into another ramble. I really just want to tell you I had slings in stock and I've been talking for ten and a half minutes. That's how she goes. Let me know what you think in the comments section below and I hope that you have a blessed day. Oh my god, I get back to packing slings, finishing slings, and preparing for the next batch of doggone everything I'm going to do. Actually, what I'm really going to do is I'm going to get a weed eater, and I'm going to spend, it is crazy hot out, and I'm going to spend probably three plus hours back in Tick and Chiggerville, uh, back in here, doing range maintenance. Because uh, it seems like during the summer, uh, it seems it's really cool to have your own range in your backyard, but then it's almost like you're married to it. Like it's like constant maintenance. I'm rambling again. Talk to you in the comment section below. See you.